YouTube. Thought I'd do uh, a video on using my quick release quench plates. Uh, I've got the D2 in the kiln at the moment. The kiln's struggling a little bit um, because in the foil packets I can't, couldn't completely shut the door uh, so it's climbing very slowly. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I've even had to put a few things to sort of close the gap at the top try and keep some of the heat in. Um, anyway, Assuming that it ever does reach the hardening temperature, which we're on 970 at the moment, climbing slowly. Uh, I'm aiming for a 1010, 20, that sort of temperature. Don't want to go too close to the 1040. Um, and then what I'm going to do is going to take them from here, across to here, where I've got the quench plates waiting with quick release, which I'll use. Okay, and I've got somewhere, should have it on hand, let's change that, I've got compressed air waiting here, which I'll put here, more to hand. So I'll bring you back in a moment when, uh, when it's had its soak at uh, the 1020. See you in a minute. Just bring you in to have a closer look at these quench plates. Um, they're just... 12 by 6 uh, slabs, an inch thick aluminium, uh, four of those. That's big enough for the bushcraft style knives that I make, like that, uh, like that bobcat hanging on the wall there. Now that's O1, but uh, the ones in the kiln are D2. And they are attached to some old record quick release woodworking vices that I picked up cheap from uh, a place that does clearance from you know like schools that have shut down just made a couple of simple wooden uh, holders for them that I've then clamped these two the uh, vices to the, the idea was that everything comes apart to be packed away this isn't going to be a permanent setup in a workshop this size as you can imagine so it just needs to be something I can undo quickly and shove away under under a shelf and forget about. And the, uh, the sort of cheap workmate rip-off from Aldi there can um, can sort of fold away and go away in another shed. So it's a, a sort of temporary setup. Okay, so, right, this time I will bring you back when I'm ready to do the quench. Okay, so... Soaking time is up. Uh, I'm just going to switch the elements off before I put the metal tongs in, and then we'll take the first one over to the far quench plate, and then the second one to this one. Okay.
that's uh, only mildly warm to the touch. Hopefully no warps. Sorry, I couldn't actually uh, film taking them out of the foil packets. Foil packets are here now. Um, I don't want to hang around because I want to get these immediately into temper. They're still sort of hand hot and fairly warm. Um, temper oven has just gone on. I've read that you should heat them gradually uh, rather than put them in straight away at uh, the sort of temperature, the, the temper temperature. So I've started the uh, temper oven just just now building up. So it's at about 20, but it, it will build reasonably quickly. Uh, I can't really control that. Um, I can't control the rate at which this rises. Well, that seemed to go pretty successfully. Uh, I was happy with that process. The colours on the blade after the uh, after I'd taken them out of the packets, I don't know if you noticed on the video, there's some beautiful colours. I hope those are right. Uh, I'm going to perhaps ask a few more experienced makers than myself what they thought of that. Uh, I was absolutely amazed at how quickly those blades uh, lost heat. Far faster than an oil quench. Uh, normally when I uh, take blades out, they're oil quench. Uh, I'll just show you. I use my Fluke uh, infrared thermometer and the blades are 60-70 degrees Celsius, something like that. Those blades had dropped to 30 degrees in that tiny amount of time. And again, I'm hoping that's, that's okay. Uh, they were warm in the hand still, they haven't gone cold. They've gone now into the temper oven at that temperature and the temper oven's now building up. So hopefully, um, I'm gonna run, most most of the literature says double temper. Rightly or wrongly, I'm gonna do a triple temper, round about the 220 I think for the first two and maybe drop to 200 for the last one. Uh, if anybody's got well, there's lots of people with obviously much more um, experience than me of better temper temperatures. I would be uh, I'd be very grateful if you could put comments below the video. Thank you very much, and see you next time.